stages of fracture healing. If there is a fracture, there will be blood around it. This blood is important source of nutrients and cells for the bone to unite. It's called as fracture hematoma. Very important. If the hematoma is inside the skin, it's a closed fracture. If there's a rent in the skin and soft tissues and hematoma comes out, it's an open fracture. The bone ends need not come out. Even if the hematoma comes out, it means the same. So, all your treatments, which are advanced nowadays, have gone to the basic principle, preserve the hematoma. That's how the closed methods of treatment and reduction are there, in which the hematoma is not exposed to the environment. In open reductions, it's exposed. On this hematoma, the neovascularization occurs, the granulation tissue, over which the immature bone or callus or soft callus forms. Callus is deformable but not displaceable. It is the earliest radiological feature that the bone has started uniting, seen around three weeks. Then over it, the hard callus or consolidation occurs where the mobility is lost. The fracture starts to unite. And then over that, the remodeling will occur, where the osteoclasts also have a role to play. You won't come to know where actually the fracture took place. It takes place over years. This is soft callus, seen at three weeks. Callus, again, seen at three weeks. Important. Let's look at this fracture, supracondylar fracture humerus. It's an extra articular fracture. There's a hematoma here. What do you do? You reduce it and make a small incision around the elbow, put it inside. You don't expose the hematoma. That's why this is a close reduction and fixation because you did not expose the fracture hematoma. Extra articular injury means away from the joint, close reduced. That's how you do it. Take the patient to operation theater, give anesthesia, apply traction, check under the CM or image intensifier the reduction is satisfactory or not and under the x-ray control put the wire close reduction internal fixation compare it to this image here the fracture occurs through the joint surface your aim is to restore the joint surface you will open it perfectly reduce it like a jigsaw puzzle fix it here you're not worried about the irregularity you're worried about that if there's an irregularity, it will in future lead to arthritis. Even if you lose hematoma, don't worry. You have to finally achieve a smooth surface like a pearl. So, intra-articular fractures, open reduction. Losing hematoma, not a concern.